DTU research suggests that the eruption of the Sun's surface sends particles into the Earth and also destroys the electrons. Research helps us understand solar storms, navigation and communication around the Arctic. Sun's eruptions send particles of Earth that are charged electrically, creating storms that can trigger aurora lights across the Arctic. These solar storms also affect communication and navigation systems at heights so they need to be investigated. The research was conducted by DTU Space, Brunswick University, and the NASA Jet Propulsion Library, and the University of Illinois. During storms heavy clouds of particles are sent to the Earth's atmosphere, 80 kilometers above the Earth. The event occurs at high latitudes and occurs due to the magnetic fields that occur due to the eruption on the surface of the Sun. The phenomenon is not new, but it destroys the electrons and make a new discovery. The research team had many measurements of the most arctic solar storms in 2014, and it was found that electrons are removed from more than 500 to 1,000 kilometers. The magnetic field undergoes several changes due to solar winds, creating high bursts. The eruption of the Sun is called CME in which hot plasma and gases are created in the form of particles, electrons, and magnetic fields move towards the Earth. The research does not end here, but can be used for other experiments and the theoretical part will help to understand the phenomena. There are two aspects of this research. It can both be used for a number of practical purposes, and then there is a theoretical part that tries to achieve a better basic understanding of these phenomena. Our work can contribute to making navigation more reliable during ionospheric storms in the Arctic region. Our new research has enabled us to identify a number of critical factors affecting the quality of satellite navigation, and to assess the likelihood that these factors may occur. On a more theoretical level, we have discovered that during solar storms, electrons are eliminated in the ionosphere which is the opposite of what can be intuitively expected. 